Hi, this is a short review for VI Labs Modern U. It's sampled from a Yamaha U3 upright studio piano. And I'm going to play just a little bit so you can get an idea how it sounds with the microphone selection that I've chosen. And then I'll go ahead and demonstrate each individual microphone option that's available. I've selected a song, or resurrected, I should say, a song from the Duane Shin 52E Crash Course that I think very nicely highlights the direct and detailed nature of this piano, which is what I appreciate the most about it. <laughs> okay. I like the staccato in that song because it really brings out the what I think is the precision and clarity in this piano. That's what I like the most about it. Nothing really seems to get muddied with ambient reverb like some of the other VSTs that I own. And it sounds beautiful with uh, smooth legato passages as well. For example, here is a same song, short passage, just a different style. Beautiful resonance. That's what I really love, this detailed clarity that it has. Well, there are six microphone options to choose from, and you can combine up to three of those any way that you'd like. Let me run through the six real quickly, individually, so you can hear them. There's an updated user interface, and every time you click on a microphone, the, a graphic will emerge on the screen in the exact position that the microphone was in the orientation that it was in when the piano was sampled. For example, the first option is the close PM40 mics. These are two omnidirectional microphones that are placed just above the hammers, and they give the, I think, probably the most clear and direct sound of all. I better take my reverb off real quick here so you can just hear the microphones. Second option is a, another close microphone, the seemingly ubiquitous KM184, which is used on a number of piano VSTs that I've seen. They are in this XY pattern, also right above the hammers, and they color the sound a little bit, I think. And then we have the beautiful MA200, large diaphragm tube condenser mics. They emerge right back here on the soundboard, and they just bring out a beautiful warmth and woody tone. And 
Then there's a single C800G placed right above the piano for a mono response, if that's what you like. And then we have a pair of MBH0, small diaphragm mics positioned above the piano in the classic ORTF position. VI Lab says this is what they recommend for classical music. I think it sounds very natural. I think that's what the piano would probably sound like if you were standing in a room when someone was playing it. And then finally you have these nice uh, large diaphragm condenser mics, the C414s, and they add a nice, they, they're up here in the corner, they add a nice increased sound stage without adding unnecessary reverb. All right, let me show you the three that I've chosen. I've chosen the close PM 40s, the ones that we first listened to for that direct detailed tone. I've also chosen the wonderful soundboard mics for the nice woody bassy sound. And I've also chosen the room mics for the increased sound stage. So again, just the close mics. We'll add the soundboard mic. Finally, the room mic. Now, even with the room mic, I've noticed it's incredibly dry, the sound. So I had just a tiny bit of what VI, Le VI Lab calls their room reverb, and I had just a small amount. So I end up with this sound. All right, I should also mention that the user interface is also upgraded in the MIDI response touch curve window. They've included this gain response touch curve. I haven't adjusted it at all, but I have adjusted the MIDI touch curve response to accommodate my N1X. Something else I noticed that was interesting, perhaps even ironic, is that in the user presets for the MIDI touch response, they've included a custom preset for the VPC1 and for the Novus NV10, but conspicuously absent is the Yamaha N1X. <laughs> and I thought that was odd. They've sampled this beautiful Yamaha U3 upright studio piano, but they showed no love for the N1X in the MIDI response presets. Oh well, don't know why that is. Well, that's it. I'll have to say this is my favorite VST. I just love the direct, clean, detailed sampling of this piano. Uh, this is the type of upright I think I'd love to have in my home and play on a regular basis. And I've, I think I've passed the honeymoon phase where the novelty of a new VST usually wears off, and I have found that I am not tempted at all to open up another VST. I just love going to this one, and I look forward to playing it, even when I'm out and about and I can't wait to go home and listen to it. I think uh, VI Labs did a wonderful job with it. I'm very happy. If you are considering adding this VST to your uh, stable of pianos, hopefully this video perhaps might help you out a little bit. And uh, at the very least, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and God bless.